and I'm with this gay Bakaya. And I'm Abigail Batak. And I'm Kino Kapampangan. And I'm Rola Meloro. Hi, I'm Hannah Grace Laurente. And I'm Robic Loro. And I'm Joris Katubi. What's up, guys? We are here in Bakaya's residence, and this is. Bartoplas! Hello, everyone. So, I am here today to tell you what is and what are the hydrometeorological hazards. So, first, Hydrometeorological hazards occurs on the Pacific Ocean. Phenomenon of atmospheric, hydrological, or oceanographic nature that may cause loss of livelihoods, um, services, social and economic disruption of environmental damage. So there are a lot of types of hazards. So there is, in general, the tropical cyclones, the blizzard, Flash floods, um, thunderstorms, hailstorms, tornadoes, avalanches, drought, heat waves, cold spells, coastal storm surges, and many more. So, if we're talking about the local or in our country, there are hazards that co that is called typhoon, flood, thunderstorms, coastal storm surges, La Nina, El Nino, and flash flood. So, to know more about hydrometeorological hazards. Here is a my barcada, Rona, aka me. Ta-da! Tropical cyclones, hazards by strong winds and heavy rains. Every year, an average of 19 tropical cyclones enter in the Philippine area of responsibility, and approximately 9 to 10 make landfall in the Philippines. So, I have tips on what you are going to do before a tropical cyclone occur. First, coordinate with local community or barangay on safety plan during times of severe events. Second, ensure that your house or school can withstand strong winds and heavy rains. Third, discuss with your family, friends, classmates about typhoon and other weather disturbances. Understand weather forecasts and how to minimize our risks. Fourth, recommend trimming and removal of unstable trees, electric posts, and any infrastructure that could fall and may cause damage or injury. And lastly, have a survival kit containing battery, operated radio, flashlight, emergency cooking equipment, candles, matches, and first aid, first aid kit. Let me introduce to you Honey Grace Laurente, and she will explain on what you're going to do during or after a tropical cyclone occur. Wow, guys, this is me, Honey Grace Laurente, and these are the things that you're going to do during a tropical cyclone. First, regularly monitor official updates of Pagasa or reliable sources on the tropical cyclone. Second, stay in a study, sturdy and stable shelter. Third, Stay indoors and away from windows or things that may topple over. Fourth, coordinate with the local community on possible evacuation measures, especially if you are in a lying low in a low-lying area. Fifth, remain calm and take notice of your situation. I almost forgot. What are we going to do after a tropical cyclone? Oh, these are the things that you're going to do after a tropical cyclone. First. Attend to injuries if needed. Second, apply, apply first aid to minor cuts or wounds. Third, seek medical assistance at your measures at your nearest clinic or hospital. Fourth, check your immediate vicinity, house, school, surroundings for any damages that could pose a potential hazard to people around you. I almost forgot. So those are the things that we're going to do before, during, and after a tropical cyclone. So, for another hydrometeorological hazard, let me introduce to you my barcada, Abigail Batak. Hello guys, once again, I'm Abby, and this time we're going to talk about another hazard, which is the thunderstorm. These are local storms produced by cumulonimbus clouds and are always accompanied by lightning and thunder, usually with strong wind gusts, heavy rain, and sometimes with hail or tornado. So we're gonna talk about the 
tips before a thunderstorm, thunderstorm occurs. First is learn about your area's thunderstorm risk by looking at that events. Second, participate actively in the school drills or disaster response. Third, ensure proper drainage in the surrounding. And the last one is recommend trimming of unstable trees, electric posts, or any infrastructure that could cause damage. So here's another Barcada, Marvi Durano, and she's going to tell you about the tips on what to do during and after a thunderstorm. Hello everyone, I'm Marvi Duran and I will tell you the tips on what to do during a thunderstorm. First, stay indoors and remain calm. Second, postpone all outdoor activities. Third, be on the lookout for falling debris and flash floods. Fourth, refrain from using phones until the storm passes over. Lastly, stay away from structures. So for now, I will tell you now the tips on what to do after a thunderstorm. First, continue monitoring Pag-asa or local radio or station stations for weather updates. Second, always observe safety measures and you need to go outdoors. Third, stay away from storm damaged areas. Lastly, watch out for falling trees, electric lines, etc. and report them to authorities. And that's all for during and after a thunderstorm. So, let me introduce my another barcada, Rovic. Hi guys, my name is Rovic Lur. I will introduce you another hazard named storm surge. Rise and onshore surge seawater as the result the primarily of the winds of a tropical cyclone and secondarily of the surface pressure drop near the center of the tropical cyclone. Here are the tips on what to do before storm surge. First, learn about your area's vulnerability to storm surge. Second, stay away from shore during tropical cyclone passage. Third, identify evacuation routes leading to safe high grounds. Lastly, establish evacuation plans and procedures. So here's another barcada. Please welcome Mark Juris Katobi. What's up guys, Mark Juris Katobi here. And I'm here to talk about how to survive during a storm surge. First, regularly monitor official storm surge advisories and forecast updates of Pagasa. Second, head towards inland away from potential flow of water. Third, turn off power supply. Please. Lastly, if caught in a storm surge, you are advised to hold on large structures like big trees or posts. So after tackling about that, we are going to tackle on what to do after the storm surge. So first, check surroundings for electrical damage, like the wires tripped off. Second, Stay away from floods or waters. Third, clean all hard and debris. And lastly, check structural damage of your surroundings and make sure structures are safe from collapsing. So those are all the hydrometeorological hazards and on what to do before, during, and after them. So wait, let me call on my troops. So hi everyone! So Yay. This vlog is inspired because of Mrs. Jerstel Curzon Duarte. Yay. Yay. And please don't forget to hit the thumbs up below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Bark of Vlogs! And never forget to hit the notification bell. Please support us in our video, okay? And wait, I just forgot. Even though their presence is not here, but still their souls are here. <laughs> Melvi! Yeah. Christine! Yeah. Ira! Yeah. And Honey went home! <laughs> because her mother told her she needs to go home early. <laughs> Oh!